Okay, so somewhere around here are a bunch of apartments. It almost looks like you could squeeze all the way down, but I don't think you can. Who just leaves a cartridge? Monarch. MSI technician and a recruit. They look like heavily armed guards to me. That's what they look like. Funny handheld things. Well, okay. What have you? Zerg's Emporium discovered. What was the other thing? Um, Fighting in Cascadia. Find sweetheart cakes in the old Rizzo's facility in Cascadia. Oh, that's where we landed. Find a dustback casserole from Chief Raymond in Stella Bay. Is that where I am at now? I think that's him over there. So he's only just up the road, but I think the first thing we're doing, of course, is this one. It's called the, the Secret People. Kind of rather interesting. Help! Someone's been killed! Tolmaj Kia, hello! I think I'm gonna be sick. Pull yourself together and tell me what happened. You all right? No! I just stepped in a dead man's blood. And I think one of the flies landed on my mouth. Oh. If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. The body's in the first apartment on the right. Oh. So much blood. Do we mean this one? Ooh, I think we do mean this one. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Just spooked me. He warned you outside. I can do for this guy. Victim, nothing on him. Examine. Toss ball betting slip. This betting slip lists the increasingly bold wages made for a team called Mostly Colonists. And it's from far left. Tospiel betting. Okay, could be gambling. How was he killed exactly? I'm guessing he's the guy that's not in work. Okay. Magnum one. I don't feel anything, but we're investigating and we should be allowed to pick things up. Journal. Am I actually in his apartment or is it an other one? It's not upstairs, surely. Probably Two dead bodies Whatever in here. Whatever you do, don't mention Tossball to Isaac. You'll never hear the end of it. You know, I haven't seen him in a while. If you'd gotten stuck in an hour-long rant about mostly colonists, you'd be thankful. Okay, maybe not then. Laura, hello? <gasps> you startled me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Okay, I'm looking for Braxton. Have you seen him? Braxton? I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you, sorry. What? Dilated pupils, anxious posture, muscle spasms. Yeah, the eyes and everything. She's high on some quality stuff. No! Okay, maybe just a little. Braxton always has a good stash, and I just like to let loose a little. Stop thinking about the marauders and the raptodons outside, you know? So you do know him then? Oh, damn. Yeah, you do. Really didn't he cover that well. delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there? Okay, that, you're strung out, but okay. It's all I needed. Poor fella. I hope he's okay. We should hurry, Captain. Okay, examine. 
out for deliveries, dropping a care package off with the ma- Mathers in the old ruins south of Stella Bay. Be back soon. Laura, I know you were reading this. Stay out of my thing. Toss ball card, Matthew Singh. That would be stealing. I kind of want that card. Okay, well, things just got really interesting. Now we've got. Can I go poking around in another apartment? No! Cooey, I'm a nosy swine. Hi. Watch your step if you venture outside the walls. Okay. Can I just help myself to your terminal? Um, 2S Nandy. Mr. Nandy, sorry to bother you about this, but something foul is leaking from the apartment upstairs. I don't know what Clea's keeping up there, but she works for you, right? Do you think you could talk to her about it? From Rose. Can you please try to keep the window shut? As I've tried to explain, leaving them open, especially when you've got food out, invites mantis swarms. And a mantis swarm infestation is everyone's problem. To Hetch. I know you keep odd hours. I know because I've heard you coming and going at all times of the day and night. Haha. Uh-huh. But maybe you could try and close your door a little more quietly. I have rather sensitive nerves. And every time I hear your door, I think we're in the middle of another Amber Heights. Amber Heights. Interesting. Don't let me stop you. Having a sleep or anything. Okay, strange. Okay, well, while we're in town... There's a cake shop, apparently. Should probably go and check it out. Could be... A thing. I think it's somewhere around here. Sweet time. I hear those rich people in Byzantium pay a handsome bit for rap musk. That they also pay to make it stink less. Oh, was that Supposedly way? Uh, okay, these these markers are somewhat confusing. Yes, they are. I feel like I've just run up and down the same street twice now. Is this just le- Miss Ellie, or, uh, Doctor? Oh, is that leading? I noticed your pistol. Oh no. It- Okay, there's two markers here. This what are you is... talking about? I oil it every night. Well, look here. Your slide's not recoiling fully. You might be due for a new spring. I could take a look. Maybe fix it for you. Uh, sure. I'm short on bits at the moment, but I'll pay you back. Oh, no. I mean, it don't cost nothing. I got a spare spring in my pocket here, even. Everything's got a price. Well, it is the way she thinks. You can't really change your mind on that score, unfortunately. In here. These markers are rather confusing. Chef Raymond. Can I come and talk to Chef Raymond? Everett Kill. Hi. Good day to you. Chef Raymond with the red hat. Whoa, by the stars, my poor heart. I just about pissed my jumpsuit. <laughs> Uh, so I didn't mean to startle you. Most people don't. Besides, this place is enough to try anyone's nerves. Okay, how's that then? Where should I begin? With the oversized mantisaurs? Or perhaps the rap spewing acid at our walls? The board was right. This place isn't fit for human habitation. And I was a fool for staying. Why did you decide to stay in the first place? Sanjar, of course. He had all these glorious ideas about how he'd run Monarch. Rest periods between every work shift. No shift more than ten hours long. It all sounds wonderful, until you realize there's only a few centimeters of repurposed steel between you and the deadliest creatures in the galaxy. You've got a real negativity problem. I'm not even finished. Okay. Add that to the supply shortages, thanks to being cut off by the board, and I dare say we're no better off than the lowliest Spacer's Choice Enclave. So, okay, let's just see about this cake before we go any further. My engineer's looking to get a dustback casserole. Can you cook one of those? That was a real popular meal 10, 20 years back, before the board tucked tail and ran. 
These days, everybody's had a belly full of salt tuna. They all want borst. And the mushrooms, well, not many venture out of town, what with the monsters hereabouts. Yeah. I can whip one up for you, but it'll cost. Here's a menu. Oh, yikes. I can't cover this much, Captain. Three thousand. I've gone way over that. Come on. You got it. I got all the ingredients. Should only take about an hour in the oven. There we are. Now, if you don't mind, I really need to take a leak. Fine. My belly's gurgling just to smell it, Mr. Raymond. Thank you so much. A pleasure to help such a charming young lady. Oh, gosh. My tongue's rumbling just smelling that casserole. There you go. Where are we headed? Oh. No, I was about to say that. Okay, so we got the casserole, and I still have 19,000 bits, I think, there. Yeah. Wasn't going to bully the guy. So he's saying Sanjay, in fact... Ooh. Sneaky little hole in the wall there. He's saying Sanjay this, Sanjay the other. I think maybe we should talk to... Okay, weapons for the void is the one here. It's somewhere in Fallbrook. Okay. So find the sweetheart cakes in the old reservoir. Is that going to be where I think it is? That's where the landing pad was. Although I don't see my chances over there very much. Ah, uh, the secret people search the house. Yeah, Baxton was doing that. Hendrix convinced Caleb to return to work. Is that in town? It is. Looks like he's over at a bar. Probably go handle that, maybe. Miss Ellie, er, uh, Dr. Finhill. I notice your pistol's been making a funny noise. What are you talking about? I oil it every night. Well, look here. Your slide's not recoiling fully. You might be due for a new spring. I could take a look, maybe fix it for you. Uh, sure. I'm short on bits at the moment, but I'll pay you back. Oh, no. I mean, it don't cost nothing. I got a spare spring in my pocket here. Even. You would have a spare spring in your pocket. got a price. So Singh was talking about proper working hours, you know, breaks and stuff. Bennett, hi. Laws. Can't a man enjoy the smooth menthol flavor of a stogie slim in peace? You've got a lot of brass for a man doing absolutely nothing. What I am doing, sir, is enjoying the moment. It's so rare that I can seize one apart from the jabbering masses of this wretched place. What are you talking about? This law's forgotten town. Cut off from the rest of the colony. Removed from any culture. Oh, culture. I recall when Stellar Bay was a proper board-affiliated town with regular shipments of Auntie Cleo's Best and all the cereals. Before Sanjar took over MSI and got us all booted. That does sound nice. Do you miss the old... Yeah, but now you're free from the board. Yes, free to wallow and squalor together. Free to squabble with the iconoclasts over a raptodon-infested hellhole. Look... You're making me melancholy. Is there something you wanted? I guess not. Strange person. Somebody is up there. We'll come down and talk to them in a second. Caleb! Hi there. New face, huh? You from Offworld? Yeah, Captain Tony of the Unreliable. A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell and revel with us? Well... By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. <laughs> okay, what are you celebrating? Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered. Free responsibility and worldly cares. You're getting smashed. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. Okay, what could be so bad that it made you walk off the job? It ain't any one thing but the sum of it all, having to work longer shifts for less bits. 
and the wages we do earn don't cover as much as they used to. Our supervisor Velma goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas, but that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. It's probably a bit of middle ground. We won't ground. go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Us on Monarch, we're free from the board, you know? We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. Sure. You need to talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Lie. Velma's going to fire Velma. Uh, Sanjar's going to fire if you don't return. Um, Velma's threatening to replace you with sublight contractors. Nope. I'm calling her bluff. If she wants to threaten us, we'll see how she likes it when Sanjar finds out she gave Sublight even more dominion in Stellar Bay. Ah. Okay, how long can you afford to miss work then? Not forever, but we've each saved up our bits, and I stashed them safe in my home by the diner. I reckon we could last a week or two at least. Okay, I'll talk to you later. We really need that 100 in persuasion, don't we? So... Yeah, I don't have it. 93. I'm pretty close. A nice hat. Silver tongue kit. Pavarotti. Give me 11. Which is nice. No, oh, hang on. I know that name. Hello? And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood. So it's, it's sliding. All over the place. Trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the tell the blood from the mud. Uh yeah, let's continue listening. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby wrapped stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Tony, are you always this drunk? If you think this is drunk, I gotta... Uh, you need to get out more. <laughs> Sit. Partake. Buy me a drink and let's chat. Uh, I'll stay in chat, but you look like you've had enough. Another in a long line of damn fools trying to cut me off. <laughs> I'll buy my own poison then. <laughs> What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? Okay. I'm told you can help me find an information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass... Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's... Let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Okay. Okay, what do you what, what do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month. On account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. You mean a caffeinoid? That's the, just a stimulant? Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Okay, I'll be... Yeah, hang on, I'll go get you one. Dispensary. Oh, have I got to deal with a person? Probably got to deal with a person. Well, okay. But she's going to be no good as a guide if she's drunk. No, she's not. Okay, Abigail Edwards. Hello. Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Mm -hmm. Quite the bedside manner, lady. Well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Okay, I've been asked to pick up a caffeinoid supplement. And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Whiskey helps, too. Please leave medical advice to the professionals. She's a doctor, you know. Now, dearie, who's this pickup for? Um. Uh... I don't know, Auntie. 
you'll have to pry that little secret from my sweet little cheeks. Now, straight up with her, she needs to... People should... If, when in doubt, go with the truth. Oh, her. Yeah. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Okay. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. Okay. Doesn't anyone else on Monarch have caffeinoid? If so, I would love to know where. Sublight supplies don't come cheap. Right. I'd hope not. Fleecing's the mark of a real professional. Believe me, there's nothing I'd love better than to help you. <laughs> but there's not much I can do. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Oh, I can probably get past that. Um... I thought you were in charge around here, Auntie. You sure ought to be. Oh, you flatter an old woman. Yep. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. Forgetful fellow, eh? Careless experimentation with medicinal substances does take its toll eventually. Yeah. But until then, it's lots of fun. <laughs> Episodic pharmacological delirium is no laughing matter, young lady. No, it doesn't sound funny. Uh, where can I find this Dr. Williams? In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. Oh. Poor man was always searching for the flower of enlightenment. On the way, he tried some rather daring substance combinations. Flower of enlightenment? It's a philosophist symbol of some kind, dearie. Never you mind. The graveyard's mm. near the southern ruins. I think I know what it is. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. Right. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. Okay, I guess I'll have to figure it out on my own. Chin up, dearie. Okay, so... Toilet. Is the dispensary going to be up here? Pick up. Should we get the key? I think we should get the key. Because we've got a couple of things to do outside. We've got Don't Bite the Sun and... Okay, so what was this? It's not clear what happened to the victim, but something in the apartment might point you in the right direction. You found a betting slip from left field... Tossball betting, the secret people. Search the house. Braxton's making it a little... Yeah, this. Okay, the secret people. If we nip out and do that, we can maybe check the graveyard while we're there. Probably be a good idea. Get his key card, I guess. Might be a thing. Sanjar is in there. Need to go and talk to Sanjar fairly soon, I think. It's a big, it's quite a big town. It's bigger than Edgewater. Pistol, a lot more people here, too. Long. I mean, you... Okay, well, we already made a bit of an impression Ooh. on this place, so. It smells like those old Sundays when we'd unload salt tuna shipments at the camp. Ooh, which reminds me, I need to don my helmet. She shoots it. I came for a wall. To give you an assault weapon. Okay. That's the last of them. Were they that tough for the first time? Oh, mind you, no, I had Sam with me, didn't I? Okay, is my gun needing a bit of help? 60%, yeah. Maybe I should try this. Semi-automatic. 
plasma launcher. That's pretty powerful. Um, Pavarazzi. She doesn't seem keen on that. Plasma launcher. Try that out. Engineering and stuff, you know? It'll be better than running up to things with lots of teeth and uh, hitting them. Got to be. Okay, we already looked in there. Kind of, what else have I got with me? I've got the dead eye. Got that. Yeah. They're in sight. Okay. Okay, the acid isn't doing too much, actually. What's the... Okay, I'm not going to ask what that was. Well, I am, I just... That was weird. We've already been in there, picked things up. Who's making a delivery out here? Who the hell... Who the hell lives out here, then? <laughs> 